They say the past is a place of learning, not a place of living. But no one can deny the past is definitely a place we like to talk about. So let's learn about the different ways we've got to talk about the past. When we talk about the past, we need to make choices as to which tense or verb form to use because there are a few of them that can do the job. Today, we'll take a look together at past simple, past continuous, past perfect, and when to use each of them. Let's kick off with the past simple. We use the past simple to talk about completed actions in the past. My students recorded two songs last weekend. It is done. They started and they finished doing it. We also use a past simple to talk about past habits or past states. We often went to ballparks with the kids before COVID. We used to do it. It was kind of a routine. When telling a story, we use a past simple to talk about things that happened one after the other, like past events in chronological order. First, we recorded the drums, then we moved on to the bass, we had a break, and we did the guitars. Eventually, the girls sang, and we went back home. Let's now take a look at the past continuous. We use the past continuous to talk about actions that were in progress in the past. We need to use it when we talk about something that was in progress at a specific time in the past. Last Sunday at 10 o'clock, my son was playing the drums. We use it too to talk about two or more actions that were in progress at the same time in the past, often with while. While Lithia was recording, my children were playing outside. Or for a longer action in progress, interrupted by a shorter one with the past simple. We were waiting outside when the pizza guy arrived. We also use the past continuous to set the scene when telling a story, to describe the setting. Last night, my hubby was watching Vikings. I was reading on the sofa and the kids were sleeping. Suddenly, whatever. And last but not least, when do we use the past perfect? We use the past perfect to talk about an earlier past. Events which happened before the main event which was in the past. It is the past of the past. If time is a line, first I need to take you to the past somehow and then tell you that this thing happened before that one and this new one will be the past perfect. When we got to the studio, Pepe had already set everything up. We got to the studio in the past and he had prepared and organized everything before. Now let me tell you a story, a story about what I did last Saturday. We'll use it to illustrate what we've just explained. It was a lovely morning, the birds were singing, the sun was shining and the light was coming through the window into my bedroom. I opened my eyes and decided to go downstairs to have breakfast. While I was making my coffee and toast, my husband was snoring upstairs and my monkeys were sleeping too. They all sleep like a log. I guess I'm an early bird too. So, I had my breakfast and then did some chores around the house. When my husband and the kids got up, I had already done the washing up, mopped the floor, cleaned the windows and made lunch. Once they had all had breakfast, we got dressed, grabbed some snacks and headed to the music studio. When we were driving to the studio, it started to rain, but we didn't care. We knew we would have the best family Saturday ever. It was a lovely morning, the birds were singing, the sun was shining and the light was coming through the window into my bedroom. You see, I used past continuous to set the scene of the story. I opened my eyes and decided to go downstairs to have breakfast. Now I used past simple para las acciones que se suceden en orden una detrás de otra para que la acción vaya avanzando. 
While I was making my coffee and toast, my husband was snoring upstairs, as my monkeys were sleeping too. I give the list of past continuous para cosas que están in progress at the same time. So, I had my breakfast, then did some chores around the house. When my husband and the kids got up, I had already done the washing up, mopped the floor, cleaned the windows, and made lunch. Primero decidí en el pasado, when my husband and the kids got up. Y ahora te digo lo que ya había sucedido antes de eso, con el past perfect. Once they had all had breakfast, we got dressed, grabbed some snacks, and headed to the music studio. Otra vez el past simple para hacer que la acción avance para eventos que se suceden uno detrás de otro. When we were driving to the studio, it started to rain. Este es el typical example de una action que está in progress, con past continuous, y otra que interrumpe con past simple. But we didn't care. We knew we would have the best family Saturday ever. Well, that was it. I hope this explanation helped you better understand when to use past simple, past continuous, or past perfect. Today, I feel inspired, so I'll leave you with a grammar joke. The past, the present, and the future walked into a bar. It was tense! <laughs> okay, I know, I know, I know, whatever.